It's the 10th of November 2022 and the Black Sheep Motorcycle Club is about to embark on their annual ride, which will be a 10-night, 11-day trip around northern Thailand, all up just shy of about 3,300 kilometres. Yeehaw, let's get on with it. It's day one and we have an early breakfast at the Good Time Cafe and get away from Pattaya up to Kanchanaburi. We avoid Bangkok because, it, frankly, it's just a pain in the ass. It's a long way round, 462 kilometres, and a just shy of seven hours in the sea. But it's a good ride all the same. Well, day one to Kanchanaburi. We're about halfway there. We've gone up over the top. We don't go through Bangkok anymore. Been a pretty good run so far. It's probably about 30 degrees Celsius. Just after midday. Traffic hasn't been too bad following the water canals along irrigation canals. Just had our last stop of the day, about a hundred kilometers out of Kanchanaburi. come all the back roads north of uh, Ayataya. Quite scenic through here. Day two of our BSMC ride. This is a very special day. It's Armistice Day. It's the days the guns stopped at the end of World War I, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. The black sheep attend this event at the Kanchanaburi War Museum every year. The cemetery lays to rest the many that perished, mainly Australians, Brits and Dutch, at the hands of the Japanese, building the infamous Thai Burma Death Railway. BSMC members that have served in the military lay a wreath at the official ceremony each year. After the ceremony, we do a straightforward 250 kilometre run up the highway to Nakhon Sawan, where we will overnight. So Tristan, Malaysian and Indians in Bangkok, the Black Sheep Motorcycle Club, and the Royal Tank Regiment. Day two, just filled up, had some lunch after the Remembrance Day ceremony this morning in Kanchanaburi. Heading out, not sure how far, 250 or 290 kilometres. We're just doing the straight roads to munch some miles. And we'll be spending the night in Nakhon Sawan. We've got about, I don't know, 100 kilometres to go to Nakhon Sawan. We're just doing the major highways to mile, bunch of miles down. Interesting, we're all pretty knackered given we had no alcohol, not late to bed, and a late start this morning. So I guess lethargy breeds lethargy. <laughs> Been to Nakhon Sawan a number of times. It's a pretty dull old town, this one. Mm -hmm. 
Day 3, 12th of November 22. Today we do a 300 kilometre run thereabouts from Nakon Swan out to Fura, which is out near Loy. On the way out, we run into a number of Thai clubs. Good to hook up with those guys. Just shy of four hours in the seat. This has got some really nice roads on it, this bit. Zombie and Uzi had to peel off this morning and head home for various reasons. So there's seven of us left. We're on our way to Pura today, heading through the Sonolok. Just doing a bit of highway mile munching as we speak, and then we'll be on to the twisties a little further on the other side of Pisonalok. We are now in between the Sonalok and Loy. Whilst this stretch doesn't show up, these are some very nice roads here. I guess we're about 50 kilometres outside of Pura. Very nice bit of mountain road this. Not too tight, lots of sweepers. You can see the mountain range in front of me. Quite beautiful. Yeehaw, how good is this? This is nice. A couple of pickups holding us up, but it's still nice. I love these mountain passes in Thailand. Look at that view. It's day four. We go from Fura to Nam, about 388 kilometres, five hours in the saddle, riding time that is. It's obviously on the road a lot longer than that. What a great set of roads this turned out to be. Good morning, day four. Heading out of Fura. It's about 60 or 70 k from Lui. Heading to Nan. Couldn't take the road we wanted to take this morning, unfortunately. There's been reports of some landslides along there. That was a couple of weeks ago, but just to be safe, just to be safe, we're um, going to take the more direct route up through Utradit. Unfortunately, it would have been a very, very interesting ride up the other way we were going to go, but you just can't take that risk because if it if the road's closed, you've got to double back a long, long way, so it's just not worth it. It's 8am, it's quite crisp, we all had jackets on, but we stand outside in the sun and it's hot, so we take the jackets off, put them away, and now we're on our way, we're all going, oh fuck, it's a bit cold. Anyway, half an hour, it'll all be good. Happy days. Now you're talking. Yeehaw. Giddy up, boys. Giddy up.
this is the 1143. This is a very nice scenic road. Some big sweepers in it. Yeah, quite nice. Can't complain about this. Still on the 1143 heading north. Nice, nice, nice. Some straights, some sweepers. Very relaxing. We are about 30 kilometres outside of Narn. This is on Highway 101. This is a really nice stretch of road, just fast sweepers. Carries a fair bit of traffic, but if you can get a straight run at it, it's a nice bit of road for a motorcycle. We've probably just come through 20, 30, 40 kilometres of twisties. When I say twisties, big opens, fast speed sweepers. Nice countryside, beautiful views. We are just rolling into Nam. Uh, the amount of kilometres done, let me just check here. It's day five, 14th of November, and we travel Nan to Chiang Mai. Magnificent roads, 306 kilometres. And yes, somebody who shall remain nameless ran over a rather large cone on the road. Mind you, he was trying to keep the name of the club in good grace. Some of us had a very big night in Chiang Mai on the first night, and we were essentially useless on day six, which fortunately we always planned to spend in Chiang Mai. We ate some terrific rest at some terrific restaurants and caught up on some rest. We're all getting friggin' old, you know. It's day five. We're just ten minutes out of Nan, heading to Chiang Mai where we're gonna spend two nights. Roads are interesting already. Doing a lot of road works here. Hopefully we'll get the sweepy twisty stuff today. Only about three hundred kilometers to Chiang Mai from Nan. Different routes you can go. Hopefully, we think we've taken a more interesting route than just the highways. We'll see how we go. Happy days. Got through all the roadworks. We're into the nice stuff now. Palmy and I and Matt on another ride we were on came in this way to Nan. It was fucking pissing down with rain. And as I always say, one of the most brilliant rides in the dryer, the biggest nightmare in the wet. We all remember this distinctly. It was fucking ugly. Love this type of riding. Not quite twisties, but halfway between sweepers and twisties. Love it, Carly territory. We're being a bit naughty here, Palmy and I, we're monstering Frank. This is a brilliant bit of road. Have a look at that view out there. Holy dooly. Oh, beautiful. Right, get a ride. This is the 4017, another beautiful bit of motorcycling road. Very scenic, big sweepers in between twisties and sweepers. Just fantastic. Scenic. I'm guessing we're about 50 kilometres outside of Chiang Mai 
coming in from uh, from the east, uh, heading west on the 113. I think we are, or the 114, one of the two. Uh, this is a great bit of road, fast, sweeping highway. This is made for motorcycles. This bit of road. Sexy too much? <laughs> too much. <laughs> too much, too much. <laughs> Day 7, 16th of November. It's another short day, nice roads, Chiang Mai down to May Suryang. Just shy of 200 kilometres and three and a quarter hours in the saddle. Nice roads through here. So we're on the outskirts of uh, Chiang Mai. Um, just pulling up for a coffee at a late start. It's only a few hundred kilometres to May, sorry, Ung. We are halfway in between Chiang Mai and May, sorry, Ung. A beautiful bit of road here. Follows the river along, which if my memory serves me correctly, is sort of the border between Thailand and um, Myanmar, Burma. Beautiful bit of road, this good fun. It's day eight, May Saryang to Tuck, 320 kilometres, five hours in the saddle. I've got to tell you, this is one of the best ro riding roads, motorcycle riding roads you'll see anywhere in the world. Beautiful, technical, scenic. On the way down, we stop in a couple of places. I uh, hope you enjoy. Good morning. I'm not sure what day it is, to be honest. Seven, something like that, eight. Um, anyway, we're just heading out of May Saryong and we'll stop tonight in Tuck. It's about a, oh, I don't know, 350k run today, but a very technical road, this one. We go up over the mountain. And then we actually follow the river down, which is the border between Thailand and Burma. Done this road a few times. It's beautiful. Just hope it stays dry. It's already sprinkling a bit. Quite a technical ride, this one. Great ride, but a technical ride. It 
we're lucky, we get up over the clouds. So we're above the clouds over the top of the mountain and get some great views up there. And we're also stopping, Rutger's found a marina that he said is absolutely beautiful. So hopefully we'll stop there as well, get a chance, we'll throw the fucking drone up. Happy days, this is a great bit of road this one. just following the Thai Burmese border south cutting through the jungle I love this road it's just so green and lush and the Thais just live casually in the jungle here it's so beautiful in its own way and from a biker point of view the roads are just I mean you can see it's just unbelievable have to laugh, the Americans rave about the dragon's tail in the Carolinas. I've seen nothing. Sensational. Day nine, where we go from Tuck across to Pechabun. Uh, pretty uneventful day until right towards the end, where we absolutely got smashed with torrential rain. Made it interesting to say the least. <laughs> day eight. We are just leaving the city of Tuk and heading 300 odd kilometres today to Pechabun. Should be a relatively easy ride, 300 odd k's, not that technical. We're not going via the highway so I can't remember what these roads are like. We'll soon see I guess. Happy freaking days. Day 10, 19th of November, 
We ride from Pechafun to Kauai, which is about 200 odd kilometres, about three hours in the sea. Not a big ride, pretty uneventful, except for a flat tyre on Kung's bike, but we dealt with that accordingly. Okay, good morning. This is day nine, start of it. We've left Pechabun, heading to Kauai. Short run, only a few hundred, just over a couple hundred kilometres. It's therefore a late start. I can't remember these roads, so I don't know if it's going to be interesting roads or not, but we'll wait and see. At least it should be a fine day. We got pretty heavily smashed with rain yesterday. It was pretty ugly. We are about, I don't know, 40 k's outside of Kauai. Another short day today. Um, at least we're off the highways, just going through regional farming land. A lot of sugar cane through here. the hotel in about 45 minutes I guess. Another full easy day today, only 200 odd k's. So little roadside repair. The Z9's got a hole in the back tyre, I patched it but it's still losing a tiny little bit of air. Probably be okay but just to be sure, to be sure, we're going to get a vulcanised patch put on the inside of it. These boys know. So you know Two stroke race bikes. Cool shit, too. Have a look at this thing. Trucks on the back. Two stroke. Yeehaw. Ah, cool. Got some cool shit around here. It's day 11, the final day, Kauai to home. A couple of people had to break away earlier in the morning because they had appointments in the middle of the day. And as you can see, uh, this was quite a quick bout home. Happy days. Just heading out of the Loani Resort in Kauai. It's about 6.15 in the morning. Rutger and I had to leave early. Other boys will get going in a couple of hours. Looks like a nice day. It's crisp. It'll be cold for a little bit, but in an hour it won't matter. Ten nights, eleven days, saw us have a great 3,300 kilometre ride around the top half of Thailand. Many thanks to the Black Sheep Motorcycle Club for the ride, in particular Frog, Butcher, Gypsy, Rutka, Zomba, Uzi, Parmi and Kun. Many thanks brothers, had a great ride. Please remember what I always say folks in that life can be ever so short, therefore live life today.